episode. <coughs> Maybe the last episode due to impending death. Welcome to another episode of Future Probe. I don't know if this is too loud, too quiet, or just too sensual, but we're going to do a new episode tonight. Welcome, everybody. Um, uh, I'm recording one from the depths, the inner sanctum of Mega64 headquarters. Um, trying a live stream from my own office because it's a lot more comfortable in here than anywhere else. But, um, I have to be, um, uh, I have to get a better camera. I, I really need a better camera. There was just an old webcam in here, so I will improve that. Um, and I will fix a few other things, but that's for, that's for another time. That's not today. Today on future probe, we are going to, um, uh, we're going to speak. We are. It's pretty cool. We're going to speak on the subject of memory. Um, do you have, what are your favorite memories of something? If you have uh, a memory that you would like to share funny story or just uh, really, okay. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be totally real with you. The memory subject is actually a very weak premise. Um, it was really an excuse because I wanted to share my memories. Uh, I'm totally self, um, serving. I don't know what you want to call it, but, uh, I wanted to talk about my game days memories because that's why I've been gone for like three weeks. Um, and, um, at least three, I think, um, I haven't done this in November, like at all. Um, but, uh, one of the reasons is because we've been at game days, uh, or, or we had our game days event, uh, mega 64 game days. That was weeks ago at this point, but man, I had so many great memories of it. And I'm going to, I'm going to spice, spice and up the deal. You know, something I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you know, jazz it up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> something that I really love that we do at our game days event every year is um we which by the way let me just preface this <clears throat> you're gonna see me um hacking up along a thousand times during the show I've been sick like all month uh, I don't I don't actually feel sick right now but it's like I'm still coughing and and I I don't know what's going on uh I got sick right before heading into game days and that was maybe the worst thing that could have ever happened because it was like man I'm gonna stay up a bunch these next few days to get stuff ready for the event. And then the event, I'm going to be like walking through Disneyland 16 hours a day. And I was like, shit, you know, November in general is not a great time for rest, but, um, were you the reason I got sick after game days? Kevin is asking probably, uh, but everyone I know has gotten sick this, this month, but mine's just not going away. So anyway, that's besides the point, get that out of the way. Um, today I discovered, well, no, not today. It was recently discovered that, uh, they put out a new series of vinylmations. Um, the little figure blind box figurines that we would trade at, at game days all year long. They didn't put out shit. They didn't, there was no good stuff in the vinylmation category all year long. So what did we, you know, we were like, what do we trade at game days? Then we have to trade. So we found these small world figurines, um, and those were pretty good. But then like two days after game days ended, they showed these, there's a, a series called kingdom of cute and it's all vintage Disneyland stuff. And it would have been so much better if we would have traded these during game days. And it pisses me off that they just came out. So anyway, uh, so here's what I was thinking. I got the whole shipping box of them. I, w I marched right into Disneyland. I expressed my grievances and I got the whole deck. So we're going to open them all. We're going to see how much, how many of them we got um, and see if we get the whole series. Now, there's a catch. Typically, if you get the whole box, that means you got every single one of them, um, you know, because they're blind box, but like they'll put all 12 plus the chaser is that 13. 
It's probably 12 total. But the uh, you know, you'll have the whole thing, so it's almost like no mystery. Here's the thing. They double packed these the shipping boxes. So uh this camera sucks. I'll replace it. But um they double packed each deck. So like each one of these boxes has like 24 figures in it instead of 12. So if if you wanted to buy a whole box of them, it you'd be paying for two sets. Which is ridiculous. I didn't want to buy the whole set. So what I did was I actually took out half. I asked for half. So there's half, whoops, of the amount in here. Actually a little more. There's a baker's dozen. There's 13. But anyway, um... So I only, I have 13. Normally a box of them would have 24. And this is what's ridiculous is because they doubled up. I don't, I either have the whole collection because there's 12 figures. I have the whole collection here or I have two of, of two of each of half of them. Does that make sense? Total bullshit. It's total bullshit. They should just have these things only have the, you know, the set of 12 and that's it. Cause I, you know, I wanted to walk in, you know, swinging a big dick and be like, give me the whole thing. And I'm, and I know I got it, but I don't. So we're going to open them on the stream tonight and we're going to fingers crossed, get the full set. Everyone in the chat immediately goes, you're going to get doubles, dude. What a bunch of pessimists. This show is not about pessimism, okay? It's about optimism. It's about things that are of interest to us and a positive attitude and outlook on life. Fuck, I forgot to make coffee. It's cold in here. Anyway, okay, so... um, So positive vibes only. I, I, I need like... Because I know I'm going to lose my voice. I need like a drink or like gum or something. Fuck. And I should have had that all ready to go, and I didn't, and I don't have a drink or anything. What do I do? I don't have anything nearby. I would have to leave the room. I would have to leave what's happening right here and get... Son of a bitch. I don't want dead air. I'd rather sit here and talk about this for 20 minutes and try to figure it out. Okay. Um. Everybody, I want to stay in a positive vibe, so I'm going to give everyone 30 seconds to close your eyes and meditate and just kind of like think about yourself, your innermost self, think about what, um, you know, is holding you back or where, how further you could go, you know, where you could go in life. I want everyone to take 30 seconds, close their eyes. Don't look at the screen and just think about what do you want in life? And in 2018, since it's coming to a close, did you get what you wanted or I'll be, Oh, I'm not, I'm staying here too. Yeah. 30 seconds. Close your eyes. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Wow, that was incredible. I feel like I learned a lot about that. Okay. About whatever I don't, whatever the fuck I said. All right, okay. I was going to get coffee, by the way. We're out of coffee. Nobody restocked it. Okay. So, I'm going to open... I'm going to start to open these. And... um. I wonder if, yeah, basically I was just going to share some of my memories from that weekend and, uh, as I opened each one and I thought, you know, this is just my excuse to talk about those and I'll take some calls in a little bit too, but for right now, let's open the first one, shall we? Oh, so in this set, I pretty much, I pretty much want every single one. Um, the, I mean, you got the Barker, Bur which, you know, actually I do want to complain in front up front um th whenever they do merchandise of the tiki room they do this barker bird like i have another i mean just a foot away from me there's like a this was a figure that they put out um the barker bird always gets uh treatment like with merchandise and i don't get it the barker bird was a it was a bird outside the tiki room for like a couple years nobody watching this was alive for this to be around 
And um, why don't they do more stuff with the birds that are in in the ride? Like, I don't understand why it's always the Barker bird. It's like artists just see that and they draw it. Stop. Anyway, but I want every single one on here, pretty much. Like, um, you know, the Main Street Electrical Parade homeboy over there, the pi- the Pirate Skull, the Pirate Skull, which is my favorite part of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Um, the Whisper in the Dark makes that ride the best ride because a skull in the dark whispers to you, a vast there may be too late to alter course this thing whispers to you that you fucked up and i don't know any other ride that has something like that so it's amazing um the monorail oh my god i need that the house of tomorrow i mean that is my number one i want so right there that's the one i'm looking for the most the house of tomorrow and also the mark twain i do like the mark twain now if you notice everything has a cute little face um, I don't really need the Mickey Apple. I don't really care about that, but, but I'll take it. Uh, the Dumbo is cute. The submarine is so cute. Uh, and then the Yeti and, uh, from America sings, dude, uncle Sam from America sings. Like there's never stuff from America sings. So, um, so we're going to get to open these and I hope I get, I'm going for the house of the future. Um, I hope that's what I get. I found out there's a chaser. Should I say what the chaser is? I know what it is, but there is a chaser figure in here. So we're going to find out. Okay. Place your guesses on what it could be. Okay. So I'm going to put this box into display mode like that. The subject tonight should have been cute. It should have been like, what do you think is cute? Um, but one of my favorite memories from the weekend of game days is, uh, when we did do the vinylmation trade off and we were trading all the toys and stuff, we went into the alcove where, uh, eventually star Wars land, uh, entrance is going to be. And I loved that our whole group filled up that area. There was no other reason to be in that area, but suddenly there was this giant group there. And everyone was going nuts. Um, security was asking about it, but everyone was just absolutely like jubilant and yelling and all that stuff. And the train went o- overhead and it was just, I don't know. That was like a special moment clapping for the train. And I don't know. Okay. I'm going to open one. Okay. Everyone out there, send me your luck. I'm hoping to get the house of tomorrow right there. Or the, where's it? house of the future. House of Tomorrow, House of the Future. Whenever I'm on camera, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, but the monorail one, I want probably second place. Mark Twain, probably third. No, but the dude from America sings. Oh, anyway. And uh, I, I saw someone, uh, I think it was Jared, say that it worked because I bought the Barker Bird. Uh, that Barker Bird uh, came in a box with this. This is what I wanted. Fuck the Barker Bird. I didn't want the Barker Bird. I wanted this. I'm tired of the Barker Bird, and I know I'm going to get one tonight. I'm probably, probably going to have three of these. Okay. All right, I'm going to... Come on, these are hard to open. All right, what do we got? First up, let's do it. Here we go. Huh? <gasps> What did I fucking say? What the fuck did I say? The entire t- the whole time we've been streaming. The whole time. What did I say? Give me a damn break. Oh, uh, uh, the burger burn. Okay, normal. I was going to do a thing in between each one, but fuck it. I, I got to open another one. Okay, so wish me luck, everybody. I need your positive energy. That thing is tiny too. These are these are uh, these are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. They're cute, but damn, dude. Okay, these boxes do not survive the opening process very well. Oh my god, weak structural integrity. Okay, here's another one. Are we ready? What do you what do you think? What do you think? 
I think I know what this is. I think it's the chaser. No, it's not. It's... Oh, the monorail. Oh, yeah. Look at the monorail. Wait, does he have the cute face? The... Oh, look at that. Look at the cute monorail face. Can you even see that on the fucking camera? I'm just going to tell you how it looks. It looks good. Anyway, there's the monorail. Man, these are these are <laughs> these cost as much, actually maybe a little more as the vinyl mations that we used to trade uh in game days, but those fig those figurines are like that big and this one is that. So, uh man, that's that's unfortunate, but it is very cute. Um so, you know, monorail, that was the one I wanted the second most. So, all right. Um, let's talk to somebody else. Uh, let's see. Did anybody go to game days? You know, I, I should actually, um, hold on. I actually should like, how do I get the link that I can send people to our, I want people to, uh, I want to have a link to our discord so that people can call in and I don't know where that is. Oh my God. I'm trying my best. Is that it? Is that the link? Is that the correct link? Well, we tried our best. Okay. That's it. Uh, feel free to call into our discord here hopefully it will work i i'm on a different computer than i normally am is that the wrong link well people are calling in so kathleen noir i don't know if this is even going to work to be honest hello kathleen noir kathleen noir Yeah, I don't know. If, maybe I'm not set up correctly. Well, I'll try another one and see if it's any better. Uh, let's talk to... Let's see here. Uh, Charles? No. Dangerous person. Dangerous person. I think they're talking and I'm not hearing anything. I think I'm fucked up. Dangerous person. No good? Okay, I'm going to try one more. Jared. If Jared doesn't work, Jared's got his shit together. So if that doesn't work, I know I'm fucked up. Hey, Jared. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm not hearing anybody. Okay, let's try this again. All right, Jared. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to solve this, but maybe calls aren't working. I don't know what's happening. Try hitting the headphones icon to undeafen. The headphones icon. Okay. Hello? Hello? No. I'm, un I'm definitely undeafened. Damn, um, input, output, settings, input device. Oh, how much do you want to bet this fucking stupid thing is defaulting to here? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there hey, we go. <laughs> this fucking stupid thing. Let me tell you. Wait, did I close Discord? Hello? What, did it default to your computer settings or something? No, I plugged in. I don't know what it is with Windows, but whenever I use one of these Razer microphones... No. When I plug those in, Windows defaults all speaker-related stuff to the microphone and tries to play shit out of the microphone. <coughs> I don't know what it is. It does it every time. 
Uh, um, but Discord did it separately from anything else. It doesn't matter. Anyway, can everyone hear you at home? I think they can hear you. I guess so. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. Good. Anyway, how's it going? Did you have like a a good? You know, honestly, like. I guess the subject is general memories, but like you went to game days, so did you have a lot of like good game days memories? Uh, yeah, I went to the Void VR. That was really fun. Yeah, the Void VR. Uh, I still have not done that. Um, well, you fucked up because now it's Wreck It Ralph. So I found out. I thought I did. Fu <laughs> I thought I did fuck up. They still have the Star Wars one. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, they they're they're rotating them or something. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, because uh, I got nervous once I heard that. I was like, "Oh no!" Um, yeah, so that was cool. Can you? What, what was kind of? What was that all about? Like the Star Wars one? Uh, it's it's really cool. It's in downtown Disney. If no one knows, yeah, it's like, a VR. Heard... It's a VR experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's full body VR. So what you do is you put on this little backpack with like a little chest thing. Yeah. And and then. Uh, and uh, it's all based on Rogue One, so it's it's like really old now. That's why they have Wreck It Ralph okay like, rot rotated in or whatever. Yeah. So it's all Rogue One, and the uh, and uh, you go in, and uh, you're all stormtroopers. It's a group of four is the maximum, and you okay. uh, it fully scans your body in real time. So when I'm looking at my friend, my friend is a stormtrooper. If my friend lifts his arm, the stormtrooper lifts its arm. Wow. If the stormtrooper, like, if my friend points at something, then I see him pointing at something. And yeah. So forth. Wow. And yeah, and they do a lot of tricks, like, um, so it's a bunch of rooms, and you have a VR headset on. Uh, so it's it's kind of like what someone told me is kind of like an escape room game or whatever. But like, uh, so you enter a room and you have the VR headset on, and you're actually, you know, you're in a ship, and it's like, oh, you can sit down if you want, and then you can okay. sit down in real life, or, uh, and then it takes place in like a, a magma planet or whatever. So yeah, like, I heard um, about that. You're on a platform, and like all of a sudden, the, it's, it gets hot in real life, and you smell smoke. Whoa! See, this is what I'm kind of scared about because, uh, to be totally honest, my brain is really gullible when it yeah. when it comes to experiential things like that like <laughs> vr like I, when i was playing like that uh that game that came with the big gun for psvr oh uh far point yeah and like stuff would jump at me i, I would like throw my headset off like nothing, it, jump, nothing jumps at you oh okay well that's good but but it, just stuff like that my brain believes stuff really easily when it comes to tricks like that so yeah. i'm scared that i would get like uneasy when i'd suddenly feel hot and i'd be want, like oh no like I wonder if it would like freak me out. It's really weird. I know that's weird, but yeah, um, there are a lot of uh, you are standing on a lot of platforms that are like three hundred feet in the air. I don't know whoa! See, um, I mean, not that that. I mean, that might wig me out for one second, but that probably yeah. wouldn't affect me too much because uh, okay. I get it in a second. The the Batman VR thing that they did when they had you on like the the perched on a building, it was still just oh, like yeah. whoa. And, um, <laughs> that's kind of crazy though. Yeah, it was really fun. It's uh, it was thirty five bucks, and it's only like it only lasts like eighteen minutes or so. That's a little but, weird, but I guess you know. But but I thought it was worth it just because it's it's something I can't do at home or anything, and yeah, you know, yeah. it's full body VR and all this stuff, and I was like, well, yeah, I'll try it. And uh, I think it's worth thirty five bucks to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, by yeah, the end of the should, year, you should go with Kevin and and. Uh, some other people and just try it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I will. That's not a bad idea. Uh, I wonder what the Wreck It Ralph one is. I don't. I have no no clue. Did you see the but, new Wreck It Ralph? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the new movie. Um. I saw it with my niece. Yeah. My niece. My niece didn't like it that much because oh, really? like. Yeah. It was. Uh. It had a lot of jokes in it that uh were so obscure and internetish. Yeah. That. I was the only person laughing in the theater out of like forty people, and most of them were like, "Mom, you know, I live in Texas. It's much yeah. like Texas moms and dads bringing the young, you know." And it's just like, <laughs> yeah, they they had references to GeoCities and Friendster and wow. <laughs> so I'm cracking up because I remember this this stuff. And yeah, like, but nobody else there is on the same. And my niece was like, Shh, "Jared, <laughs> wow, that's crazy." Um. I wouldn't. I, I thought it was an okay movie, but yeah. like, 
like it was it was interesting just from a standpoint of like all these like obscure references only i would understand really yeah um yeah i wasn't really planning to see it i i didn't um everyone gushed to me about the first one and i i left that just bored so i i was i'm probably skipping (laughs) this one but um i I thought the first one was all right same as this one yeah i didn't hate it i just uh, i was like all right um It, it does have a lot of references and things like that it's just like the first movie yeah well um Still, I feel little, like it being based on the internet, it could have been a lot worse. So that's probably good. Yeah it 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 goes it goes in interesting places when they talk about the internet. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to know. Good to know. Uh-huh. Well, uh, thank you for your call. Yep, I appreciate it, and uh, thanks. Glad, I'm, and, glad, I'm glad you got Discord working. Yeah, so. we got it solved. Thank you. All have right. a good one. See ya. See ya. I should have asked him how his Black Friday was. But we didn't. Um, okay, let's see. Who else we got? Well, no, let's open another one. Okay, Kingdom of Cute. Here we go. Now I'm I'm praying. I'm praying for that house. Let's go house. Let's go house. This feels thicker. We got a thicker, thicker thicker one here all right what do you guys think i think this is either the the house or the pirate skull on the thing ready three two one fuck it what the hell oh this was my third most wanted no 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 the the bird from the uncle sam from america sings that's probably third but close mark twain Ooh! we got that steamboat in effect where's the face where's the where's the cute face oh it's down there okay mark twain the mark twain steamboat right there he's got the cute face down there at the bottom i don't know if you could see that but adorable this is this was one that i wanted a lot so i'm, I'm very happy so far i'm happy the barker bird out the gate we didn't need that that was a little bit unnecessary but hey steamboat i'll take it the Mark Twain steamboat. One of my favorite things at any theme park is to ride that steamboat. It smells good. This is where I always, right here on the front, that's where I always go when I ride that. And I uh, sit in a chair and take the river in. Um, okay. Ah, fuck it. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay. Another box. You guys ready? Here we go. So it's a little little better luck opening it from the bottom of the box. Here we go. Come on. House of the future. House of tomorrow. Whatever. This one's light. This is a light one. So uh, whatever it is, it ain't big. I don't know if that's going to be the house. Three, two, one. Fuck. Oh, wait. Where is it? Okay. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Oh! Another good one. Another good one. The pirate skull. Psst. Avast there. It'd be too late to alter course. Okay. I'm very happy. Uh, a little small. Again, these are like way smaller than I thought they would be. I I, I kind of feel like probably should have uh, expanded these a little bit. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Because I love Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at that. Damn, dude. All right, I'm stoked. Got the pirate skull. <coughs> okay, let's take another call. Uh, let's talk to... Who is on the line today? We're going to talk to... Come on, all of these are giving me trouble. Who is active? Let's talk to Blurch. Hello. Hello, Blurch. Hey, Rocco. Uh, what's happening? Um, hey, I'm unboxing some figures here, but yeah, I'm I curious. Unboxing. Did you go to game days? No, I, uh, I was, I couldn't make it. Well, uh, do you have, is there another memory that you have like from a long time ago that maybe excites you or is like, wow, what a perfect day kind of thing. You know what I mean? No, I don't really have anything 
a specific like that, but I actually did since we're well, you are opening up some collectibles. Yeah. Uh, you know the fiasco I guess is going on with the uh, what is it Fallout's nylon bag versus canvas bag? What? There's a on the Fallout 76 like Ultimate Edition. Oh. You get a big, yeah, yeah. There's it's advertised as a canvas bag, but it's really just nylon trash. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that game yeah. doesn't seem to be uh, having a great lifespan. Yeah, it's making me really worried for that uh, star. What is it? That space star citizen. RPG? No, not not star citizen. <laughs> it's uh, the uh, whatever space one that Galaxy that Boys or whatever it's called. Yeah, exactly. It's that yeah. One. Well, I was uh, never really looking forward to that anyway, so I, my, I have no worries. It, it was exciting to see it because it just came out of nowhere at yeah. E3 when they announced it. Yeah, and a new a new uh, IP is good, you know. But Yeah, it's just, it's like, great. Right, it's been Fallout and then Dishonored and then Elder Scrolls. It's kind of like a, need, a different taste. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I'm sure it's just ZeniMax, like the parent company, kind of meddling their fingers and prices and stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, it, I mean, I was really excited for that, and it really feels like a sacrificial lamb now before the Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, out. that's, yeah, well, well, yeah, hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully it ends there. Yeah, but, I mean, I didn't really have anything. I was just calling to see if I could get lucky and get on. Oh, okay. Wait, that's what you had to bring up? That's what you brought up? I was just, I, I was trying to think of something. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have anything. To, I was just, your I'm not good, doing Your good memory was that bag totally sucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not giving you crap. I appreciate it. I appreciate any call. Uh, I didn't realize that. And I will say, in terms of a fun memory, this week this week has been full of fun memories. Seeing everyone go ape shit over that game, and how bad it is, or how much it's dying, uh, like how much it's collapsing on their PS4. I've gotten a kick out of it just because I'm not involved. So I know that's messed up. I know that's wrong and rude of me, but. It's been funny, I have to say. Um, not funny that people may have gotten hosed on a game that they wanted. I, that part's not funny. But seeing the thing collapse is kind of funny. I don't know. Is that messed up to say? I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> it's not It's not nice that it didn't turn out well. I mean, yeah. you never want something to be bad. You don't yeah. want someone to just make something that nobody likes. But... It's it kind of went a different direction, so it's not really like breaking the franchise or anything. But it has to be worried spe specifically that they're talking about how they're not uh, like changing the game engine. Yeah. I was really looking forward to like a revamped, future-proof Elder Scrolls Six blow my brains out. But now it just kind of sounds like it's gonna be like a Fallout Four theme park again. I don't yeah. know. I don't know how much they're gonna be able to change with the same engine. I, it has me worried, but hopefully all of this. Terrible stuff going on with 76 makes them realize they need to really step it up. That's what I was most excited Yeah, that's about. true. With I mean, all this bad stuff. maybe it's the best thing that could have happened. You know? Yeah, if they just kept rolling the ball down, kind of reusing everything and nothing bad happened, they'd just keep doing it until it got worse. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Maybe it was the sacrificial lamb, like you said. But anyway, thank you for your call and your insight. Appreciate yeah, no it. Problem, Blurch, I, if that is your real name, I appreciate nah, it. No, it's just a little username. All right. Well, thank you very thank you for your call. Take care. All right. Take care. W did not expect that call. You know what? The memory theme of tonight's thing is weak anyway. It should have been what do you find cute? And I know I blew it. So we're gonna just call it what it is. And you can call in and just talk about anything you want. It doesn't matter. Like right now, I'm gonna take a call from Skiff. Skiff. One one oh 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 one. Skiff. Hey, what's going on? Hey, no theme, no anything. Just say whatever you want. Who cares? Okay. Uh, God, I was gonna, I was gonna do something for memory. Actually. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. You can do it. Yeah. Um. No, I'm just. I had a great time at um game days. Oh, so you were you and... were at game days? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think the best, like, so I've only been with Pirates of the Caribbean like a few times. Okay. But I think my time when I wrote it with Garrett and all the people at Game Days was, like, the best ever. Oh, wow. Um, just, like, having a group of people that are so into it and so excited about it. And then after that, I think it's the second drop, and then you go around the corner and you start actually seeing everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone, everyone just went from, like, super excited and, like, clapping and everything to just 
in absolute awe of yeah, how just amazing like, that wow. ride is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was just, it was it was even better than the first time I ever rode it, just being able to experience that with that many people. Like, we had a boat which was so crammed with people, it almost, <laughs> like, stopped before the drops. Yeah. So we had, I think, um, four like, four people in each row. So it was, like, a fully, like, decked out boat. Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, so it was, I, I wasn't it was there for that. Like I didn't go on of... I didn't I didn't get to go on Pirates during game days cuz I uh I chose Haunted Mansion and that took half our day cuz it was so packed. Uh Yeah, I went on I went on Haunted Mansion um a couple of days earlier. I've never ridden the um the Halloween version before. Oh, okay. I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't go on it again. I'm <laughs> yeah. So happy. Um but in terms of Pirates too, it was just like so amazing and then like coming back up the ramp and as we were like going around the queue, yeah. everyone was just clapping and so happy. And it was seriously like the most amazing ride experience I've ever had at any park. That's so cool. Well, I'm glad that worked so, out like, for that, you. Yeah. That's like a memory I'm going to treasure in terms of Disneyland. That's awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. That, that ride broke for a lot of people later uh, and they weren't able to go on it. So you're lucky that you did. Yeah. But, uh, cool. Well, th- that's awesome. Well, I'm glad you had such a great experience and, uh, I have a great experience every time I go on that ride, but especially on game days, it's, it's, it's something else. So I'm glad you got to see that. Um, yeah, thanks man. Well, thank you for your call. I appreciate it. No problem. Have Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to open another one of these. Cool. Uh, let's see. I don't know how many more, but, uh, what do you think? What do you think it's going to be? Uh, I really hope it's the Yeti. The Yeti. That is a cool one. I pretty much want them all. I should say that. I do want them all. I just don't want duplicates. I, I bought the pins of this at Disney World. Oh, okay. Um, but I didn't have... I don't think they had the actual blind boxes yet. Otherwise, would have. I would have gone... Yeah, yeah. Some of those pins and some of the things they've put out have characters that haven't been a figure yet. So I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be a season three because one of them was a little devil. Like from... Uh, uh, bu- 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 uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. So, uh, I'm really excited because I'm hoping we get a figure of that devil. I've always wanted a figure of that. All right. I'm going to open one. You're hoping it's the Yeti. I'm hoping it's the House of Tomorrow. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Um, okay. This is the only one I didn't really want that much. It's this apple. Uh, fuck the like. Who wants an apple that bad? You got to get a figure of it. That's boring. It's ruined the stream. I'm sorry. No, no duplicates so far. Let me just say. So, I got to open another one. The apple. The, I mean, I mean, it's not bad. You know, this is a Disneyland staple treat. Like the, they have the 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 freaky apples like that. But you know, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna open one more. Cool. You're hoping it's the Yeti. I'm hoping it's the House of Tomorrow. Here we go. Crack it open. Okay, how's this one feeling? How's this one feeling? Some texture here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess this is not the House of Tomorrow. I'm gonna guess it's either the Yeti or Uncle Sam. Let's see if I'm right. Three, two, one. Fuck it. <gasps> No, but a good one. A good one. It is the Main Street Electrical Parade float of this uh, freaky-looking Bugman guy. Oh, wow. Uh, awesome. Which, which I did want. I do like the Main Street Electrical Parade. It's one of the few parades that I ever liked. Um, so it's good. We're not getting duplicates. That's what counts. I like what I got. So I'm happy. I'm happy. All right. Thank you for your call. Thanks. Have take, a good night. Take care. That was a good call. That was a very good call. Very positive call. Okay. Let's talk to... A lot of these are just not... Okay, let's talk to Coconut. Oh. Oh. Hey, Rocco. How's it going? Oh. What's up, man? Hey, w- did you go to game days this year? Yes. Uh, I. My name's Roland. We uh, talked outside of... Uh, oh, yeah. Of... Um, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. did you have like a good memory from that weekend? Um, 
honestly, that I thought that was really cool. I didn't really get to hang out with uh, you or any of the Mega 64 uh, guys too much. Uh-huh. Uh, this year being my second year at Disney, uh, okay. going to Disney for game days, we kind of had our own like little group, so we kind of split off and did our own thing. Sure. But uh, the moments I did get to hang out with you guys was awesome. That oh, was okay. cool. Um, well, wait, explain little... the moment to people who don't know. What what was it? Like, we talked, it was uh, during when everyone else was on Big Thunder? Yeah, um, and then I think you got a pretzel, so you didn't go on the ride. Yeah. I don't think you would have gone on the ride otherwise. I wasn't so, going like... to go. I don't go on the roller coaster stuff. Yeah, So right, I right. took that moment. I knew I wasn't going to get to eat later, so I took that moment to get a big-ass pretzel. My favorite, one of my favorite top five Disneyland treats is the big ass pretzel with the fake ass cheese? Oh, oh, you got me. So <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I don't think it. I've had a Disneyland pretzel the entire time I've, I'm there. I've never, I've never yeah. had that. Yeah, I'll try that next time for sure, though. Cool. But uh, yeah, and then um, a couple of us went uh, in my group went to go get the uh, limited edition Christmas churro, which had like crushed peppermint and pretzels and chocolate oh. dressing on it. Yeah, and it was, was so it, good. Was so it good? good. Yes, it was delicious. I always, I'm such a sucker for like the limited time churros they have there. Oh, me like, too. I, yeah, I think uh, uh, they're expensive, but like you, you can't, you're not gonna have another churro like they're that. They're an experience. They're an experience. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. I've tried all the weird churros. I got to be honest though, most of them I haven't liked as much as just the standard churro, except mm-hmm. the exception was the carrot cake churro with cream cheese uh, dip. Yeah, I had that one too. That one was good. That one was good. Damn. I, I want to try the sour apple one too, but like, I don't really know how that could. I heard, I heard not out. good. I heard not good stuff. Yeah. Well, I had the, the, uh, the spicy caliente churro or yeah. from like the Senor Buzz churro over at, uh, oh, okay. California Fixer Adventure. Beer? Yeah. Yeah. That one just hurts your throat. That one sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I ain't feeling yeah. that. Well, Hey, I'm going to yeah. open a figurine real quick. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't know what uh, you think it is. Okay, I'm hoping for the house of tomorrow because that's the number yeah, one I really want as well. Yeah, that's, I'm feeling like you it, on that. Yeah. So I've heard. Well, from what I do for blind boxes, is that yeah. for good luck I let somebody else open it. Oh, uh, you know that does seem if, to happen because hey, yeah. at game days I had Sean open one. Mm-hmm. I I bought one for him and just gave it to him, and that was the chaser. Like that was the yeah. rare figure. So you might be onto something. Yeah, so ho- um, I'm crossing my fingers, man. I think this is either the Yeti or the... Oh, no. I think this is going to be Uncle Sam, the the eagle. That's still another good one. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Fuck it. Baby, welcome to the USA. America sings. Yankee <laughs> Doodle went to town riding on a pony. Yeah, we got that bird. You know, this dude, this little shit right here old and busted new hotness right there a lot of people don't remember um america sings it was a, in our own carousel theater here in anaheim and it was a it was full of animatronics and there were effects in there that were so ahead of the time for animatronics um it doesn't get enough credit for the advancements that it made but i'm giving it credit right now america sings not by the way pessimists not one duplicate yet. Do you see one? Thank you. There it is. America sings. All right. I haven't you... been able okay. to like check that out actually at all. Like from what I, as long as I could remember, mm-hmm. the uh, carousel has always been interventions for like. That's so sad. Because yeah, yeah I used to, America sings was a great was a great show. I mean, you know, it was a lot of animatronic animals. Put some put, might put some people off, but uh, I thought it was amazing. I loved mm-hmm. it as a kid. Anyway. Thank you for your call. Go oh, yeah. Ahead. I actually have a, a quick question in yeah. regards to memory. Yeah. Uh, so I, I was just wondering, what do you think is your most fondest memory of playing a video game for the first time? Playing a video game for the first time? Um, of myself playing a video game for the first time? Yeah, um, just a single game, not like your first video game in general. Just like a game that you bought, played it, and then it was, like, a remarkable experience that, like, really stuck with you. It doesn't even have to be related to the game in general, but just, like... Two of them would be... Uh, one would be getting Final Fantasy 2 or 4, whatever they call it, on Super Nintendo. Th- uh, that opening scene where you're... 
your Dark Knight, you're with the the the, uh, the Red Wings, and and you're uh, flying to take the crystal from another town. And the main character, who is a villain, starts to think like, "Are we doing the right thing? Like, does anyone know if this is the right thing to do? Like, maybe we should ask the king about this because this doesn't feel right." It was like that was a mind blower. Like, oh my god, a video game is ha- has a deep story. A video game has uh has these thoughts of like right and wrong and stuff like that. It's not just Mario jump on thing and get a star, you know. Right. So that was incredible. But to take it back to Mario, I will say one another thing that uh another thing that pops into my brain as a special memory was being at Sears when they just got the Nintendo sixty four demo unit. And they had just plugged it in and you know, no one was at Sears. The Sears by me has been dead for 20 years. Um, maybe 30, but, um, no one was in their electronics department at all. And they had just plugged it in and Mario 64 came up and I was by myself in this department store playing it. And it was like, Whoa, you know, like exploring around the castle in quietness. Oh man, that was such, I was so excited. And I still love that game for that reason. 64 wasn't my favorite system, but that was an incredible experience. Right. Right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Take care and have a good one. See you next game days. Yeah, for sure. See you Rocco. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'm going to open another one. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six more. So we're not running out anytime soon. So let's open another one. All right. I got the Eagle. It's got to be the House of Tomorrow. It's got to be the House of Tomorrow. Or, um, you know, the submarine would be good. Um, You know, there is a chaser, but so far no duplicates. Did I jinx myself by saying that? That is the question. This is, oh, this one's got a lot of air in it. They needed some extra cushion for the pushing. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Okay, we're going to open another one here. Uh, Kingdom of Cute. Again, we're hoping for that. House of Tomorrow. House of Tomorrow. Or, you know, the submarine would be good. But don't forget there is a chaser involved. Three, two, one, and fuck it. Hey, this is cute. Dumbo. You can't... Listen, you can't fuck with Dumbo. You really just can't. The Dumbo ride is a classic Fantasyland attraction. They made Dumbo so cute. Now, my question is, there's kind of a gap in the top uh, where it almost looks like something could fit in there. And I'm wondering, like, is there is there an attachment where you can put a bunch of these on a thing and spin it? This is very cute. Thank you very much, Kingdom of Cute. You did it. Dumbo rules. All right. Well, since we only opened one <laughs> just now, let's open another one. Okay, Kingdom of Cute. Here we go. What do you guys think? Uh, open it from the bottom. Seem to have a little more luck when I do that. Okay, here we go. I think. Okay. Come on. It's got to be the House of the Future. Could be the Chaser. You never know. Here we go. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Fuck it. Again, this one is cute. It is cute. It's very cute. Um, I already said it, it was cute. You know, but I did say if they have a thing where they can all attach and spin around, you, and you had a bunch of these, it wouldn't be bad. All right. Look, wait, three more. Let's take a call. Let's take a call. I'm not going to, I don't want to rush. Fools rush in, as they say. <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk to, who do we got? Shrain. Shrain. 
Hello, hello. Everyone on board the peace train. How's it going? Hey, how are you doing? So good. Uh, did, were you at Game Days? I was not. No. Oh, okay. Well, did you? I mean, is there another memory you want to share? Or you could, you know what? I don't even care. Say whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I definitely um, just uh, uh, recently, like this year, I started watching your guys' uh, podcast. Oh, okay. Um, I've been like a fan of you guys for like the longest time, right? Oh, okay. And, Thanks. Um, but I just, yeah, so I just like recently came across the uh, podcast and um, I was dying one of like the, like, I don't know if it was like a month back or so, but um, I had just like caught you guys had just gone live and you made a uh, CKY2K reference what? about like uh, when he goes, uh, uh, guy puts shit on my face and you're going to, you're talking about jelly. And I was dying because I haven't heard someone make a uh, reference to that in like years. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like none of my friends have really watched it or anything. Like, and so I started messaging my brother. I'm like, "Yo, I'm like Mega Sixty Four just made a, a CKY reference." Yeah. And um, that was killing me. And then oh, awesome. uh, uh, the other podcast just recently, you guys mentioned Bonzi Buddy, and I was dying because I'm like, no one talks about this stuff. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, it got, someone's got to talk about Bonsai Buddy. You know, if you don't, you will. <laughs> like oh my god so i was just dying and then uh and then yeah so then i come on tonight and i uh, just like got home from work oh, and awesome. uh yeah and then and then uh you're open up these disney things and i'm like yo like i like so i live on the east coast so it's like uh um i go to disney world you know it's a disneyland yeah and um but i'm like such like a disney world fanatic like that's what my that's yeah. what my family does like we we plan like we try to plan a Disney trip at least once a year type of yeah. thing, you know what I mean? Um and uh like hearing you get so uh I don't know, like passionate about Disney, like I get that feeling, I'm like, Oh man, like I know exactly how he feels. Like Wow. Like when you talk about like Disney and like I caught uh, I was watching like just skimming through YouTube and catching your your Disneyland stuff and your views on like the, like the People Mover for instance yeah I was yeah. just like no I'm like I'm right there with them like <laughs> when they did that that Disney poll on Facebook to like voting on rides yeah. I was like I was one of those people who voted for People Mover because I'm like they can't I don't want Disney to ever forget People Mover you know what I yeah, mean yeah of course so yeah so I was catching tonight's podcast and i was i was was just like man like i get it like i'm right there with him like this is exciting well awesome well that's so cool well thank you for sharing that with me i'm glad excitement is contagious and i'm happy when you know sometimes you it's easy to see like fanboys or 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 something of some of something you know uh (laughs) And think like, oh man, like why are you geeking out about this? Whatever. Um, but I always yeah. like to look at the origin of it. Like the origin of it of that kind of stuff is excitement. Uh, I think yeah. caring about stuff is great. I think being excited about stuff is great. Some people get carried away with it, but I have always loved that. And um, uh, to me, it's like li- being enthusiastic is the greatest thing we could ever hope for. Honestly, um, yeah. so I really appreciate that. Sometimes that makes a connection like that. Yeah, yeah, man. Cool. Well, thank you for your call. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Take it easy. Okay. I'm going to open another one. Kingdom of Cute. All right. What do you guys think it's going to be? I think we're getting... I'm feeling... I I want the house of the future. The house of tomorrow. Whatever. I have a feeling it's going to be the Yeti. I have a feeling the Yeti is lurking. Because look, he's looking to spring out, you know, right there. Let's do it. If it's another Barker, okay, Kevin French fries in the chat, you keep saying Barker bird. And if it is, I'm going to bill you for that one. You're going to buy it off me. No question. Oh, okay. Seems like a bigger one. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Was I right or was I right? The Yeti lives. The Matterhorn is forever haunted by this man right here. Beautiful, beautiful boy. My favorite Yeti, Umaro, whatever you want to call him. Amazing stuff. Thank you to everyone who made this possible. I know I couldn't have done it without you. Everyone set their energy and I appreciate that. Bam. Bam.
Oh, it has that vinyl plastic smell too. Okay, so let's, we've got two more, two more. And, um, uh, let's, let's recount. Okay. So we got a Barker bird, whatever. That was kind of one of the ones, uh, one of the ones I wanted the least, but that's fine. We got, uh, homeboy. Where is he? Um, we got the monorail. Okay. That was one of the ones I wanted the most. So we, we, we did good. We got the pirate skull thing. That was good. That was amazing. I love pirates. We got the Mark Twain steamboat. Good stuff. We got the apple shit. That's good. Good thing we only got one of those. Um, then we got Dumbo. We got two Dumbos, but I'm actually not mad about having two Dumbos because uh, that kind of works. The ride has a bunch of them in a row, so I'm going to keep them actually. And then we got our boy, the Yeti. So it's all down to two. I have to get, I have to get. The House of Tomorrow, the future, whatever, in these next two. Which means I'm not going to get the submarine. And I'm definitely not getting the chaser. If I don't get the chaser, I'll tell you guys what it was. But I'm kind of bummed. Okay, I'm going to open one. Fuck it. I just want to say, one of my favorite game day's memories too is everyone who kind of made it to the end of the night. And we all kind of hang out with the Christmas music playing. Um still on main street even after it's kind of emptied and everyone's already like gone to see lincoln and it's really special and and that part always gets to me the most because that's when people say goodbye that's when people say like you know oh this day was great or this meant a lot to me or or, or how far they came you know there are people who tell me like yeah thank you you made my trip from alaska that much better and i'm just like you came from alaska like you had that much faith in us to leave your home and go that far because you believed in our thing. It means so much to me. It really means a lot to me. So that that's one of my favorite <clears throat> getting a little, <clears throat> um, but not just Alaska. People came from South America, Finland, Australia, you name it like unbelievable. So this is for you. This is going to be the house of tomorrow. I'm telling you right now, the house of tomorrow. All right, guys, what do you think? Is this it? Here we go. Three, two, one, and fuck it. It's not. But it's a submarine. Ooh, I'll take the submarine. The submarine is a good thing. It's a very good thing. I will take the submarine. I love that sub. I love it. So I'm stoked about that. Guys, there's one more. There's one last one. This has to be the house of tomorrow, the house of the future, whatever. It has to be because I have no other options. If I buy more at the park now, it's from a different box. So I'll definitely get a duplicate. The odds are so against me, I can't get it. So this has to be the house of the future. So I need everyone's energy. Everyone watching this. I need your energy. I need your love. I need your support. Um, Blathers, are you there? Uh, yeah. I need your support right now. Can you just give me some of your energy? You know, kind of like some. I'm vibing. Positive vibes. Thank you. Yes. Good night. Okay. Here we go. We're going to open it. I'm going to open from the top because that I'm the top dog. All right, here we go. It's got to be the house of the future. It's got to be the house of the future. Please, 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 house of the future. Come on. Are we ready? Are we ready? Three, two, one. Fuck it. It's not the house of the future. But it is the chaser, the rocket from Tomorrowland, the Moonliner jet to the moon. I did get the chaser. Hell yes, I got the chaser. No, I didn't get any duplicates. Well, I got one duplicate. Okay, but that's okay because two Dumbos is fine. But the chaser was the rocket. And I do appreciate a cute rocket. Look at the cute little face. Oh my God. So... 
I'm happy about that. Uh, I didn't get the House of Tomorrow. That is lame. However, if anybody out there got any of these, you want to do a swap, you know, you hate the House of the Future that much, and you want to, like, you know, you really want another Apple, I know that would be so cool to have another Apple, even though I only got, you know, one. I'm willing to give it up. Um, you know, that would be cool. Uh, just let me know. Hit me up, Kingdom of Cute. But I doubt anyone's going to buy these because they're fucking expensive and you have to fucking... Well, I got the display box. And I think the display is looking good, don't you think? Wow, that's cool. As is. I think I'm done. Anyway. Well, I enjoyed that. Uh, the theme of this week's show was weak. I admit it. The camera was weak. Everything could have been done better. I want to get a better camera in here. Um, and I want, I'll, we'll have a real discussion next time, but it really was just an excuse for me to open those toys. So, you know, I, what do you want me to do? Um, but I had a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, uh, I still enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, you know what? And let's just say, let's just take here floating beanbag. Are you there? Uh, I'm there. What did you think of the show tonight? Pretty good. Could have been better. What did you think? Uh, no, I thought it was Okay. Um, I want to share my memories. You okay? It, yeah, yeah. Um, crap internet connection. I don't know. Is it cutting or? No, I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, it's just, it's midnight here and I'm, uh, not talking very loud. That's all. Okay. I'm, I'm cool. What's up? I'm positive. So, um, anyways, um, my first uh, Mega 64 video was um, the, um, was it, uh, not Double Dragon, but uh, River City Ransom. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That was first one, and that was, it just went from there, and uh, yeah, um, you guys were an inspiration, and like, pretty much all of early YouTube, I think, was like, inspiration for me. Um, it's what ah! time it's... Sorry, I, I was going to see if it would wake you up. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, I'm not drifting asleep. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, thank you for uh, a call. I appreciate that. Yeah, but uh, I want to leave with something else as well, where I was, um, because I, I want to bring this up, because uh, I, I feel like all that, like, early YouTube stuff, there was that kind of energy of, like, you know, let's just go out there and like do something, right? Like, let's, yeah. I I don't care about like money or views or whatever. I just yeah. want to create something epic or whatever. And yeah, now it's like you got like cinema cameras on like your phone. And it's like, right? Um, let's just film everyday life with a vlog or something. You know what I mean? Of course. It's it, it's just like I don't know. It just seems like. You, you know, you used to have DV cameras and, like, you know, and, and you had, like, Hollywood aspirations, but now it's, like, everybody's just content with just filming a talking head. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I'm kind of wishing for that sort of energy, that positive sort of, like, you know, crazy creative energy and sort of make a comeback one day that's kind of my hope well we're trying yeah we're trying well, our best that, that's why that's why i am um, i'm still following you um i saw that river city ransom video um i was uh 12 13 so that was in uh 2008 maybe we did that yeah. video in 2003 but uh, River City Ransom? Yeah. Well, it must have been uploaded later. Yeah, it, mi it might have been, probably. Well, anyway, so I saw it 2008 or something. But yeah. 
yeah so if i'm still here after like 10 years then yeah must mean something good enough said i hear you yeah well thank you thank you very much that's very nice of you to say and i appreciate that we represent the counterculture to you yeah yeah thank thank you for all the years of entertainment whatnot thank you thank you for the uh how long is this called man five minutes of entertainment thank you okay good night all right good night get some get some shut eye get some rest oh yeah absolutely it's late okay take care bye yeah bye um that was that was honestly really nice. It, it sounded like he was sleepy for a little bit there, but I genuinely appreciate the sentiment. That guy was cool. Okay, and then uh, let's just let's just say our goodbyes tonight. I just want to say a goodbye. Kathleen Noir, your call didn't work at the beginning because I had it messed up, but we're gonna do a farewell. Oh, super. So good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Okay. Thank you for that, everybody. Thank you for watching another Future Probe. Take care. God bless. Thank you to everybody. And uh, if you find the House of the Future, please let me know because I can't find it anywhere. And I really was hoping I was going to get into this box. I just I got the whole shipping box in front of them, and they told me that the whole set would be in there. But, you know, I just did my best, and it, 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 it didn't work. <laughs>